So I begin to tell this young lady, you know, because, you know, all she, you know, really date is, you know, uh, a lot of hip-hop artists. Let me just put it that way. That's all she did is hip-hop artists, well-known hip-hop artists, and she really wants to get out of that cycle. But the thing is, um, when you're that and a lot of people see you in that company, then the average man is also intimidated by it because they like, oh, well, shit. You know, all the rich niggas want her. So then, hell, I'm, you know, what's what she going to want with me? I'm just working for UPS. I can't give her all that that them niggas is giving. But what you fail to realize, though, that's probably what she needs. But see, her looks is what got her on that platform. Okay, that's what got her in that company based on what she looks like. So she attra wherever you roll with, those kinds that you're going to attract. It's just that way. Like I was saying last week, if you want you a deacon, then therefore, hey, roll over there in them circles right there. But there's only a, uh, a, a few women can really get into those hip-hop circles that way. You really, you got to put, not only do you got to put, uh, um, uh, uh, put your pride and shit and, and all that, your morals and all, you got a whole bunch, not only of that shit to contend with, but you got to put a lot of money in that. Okay, start off, tummy tuck is merely a starter kit. Okay, that's a starter kit. Okay, so, you know, it costs a lot of money to be them. Let me just go and say that. Because I know a lot of people, oh, I'm hip, I'm, I'm Instagram modeling, I'm hip, Instagram this and that and this. It costs a lot of money, okay? It costs a whole, a whole lot of money, okay? I'm T45, okay? But I, I already got six figures in, okay? Let me just go and say that, that I've spent on me alone, okay? Not talking about what I've spent on my home, my car, my bitch. Just on me alone, you know what I'm saying? On the things that I like to do for me. That's a lot of motherfucking money, you know what I'm saying? And so... But when you when, when when you begin to do a lot of different things and you're socialized and in those type of circles of people that roll with that type of stuff, then those are the friends that you have. Those are the men and women that you attract because you're putting yourself in a whole different class. You, you, your conversation and verbiage is totally different from, from what's the name that's down there at the swap meet all the time. Because it's like, man, you talking about Myers cocktails and man, you talking about this, 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 and you probably sitting in 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 in, in groups of women. This one dating a football player. This one dating a basketball player. She fucking with the exec from such and such records. This one over here is fucking with such and such and such and such. You know, when you all man, the conversations are off the chain. Like I was telling you guys how. You know, you want to be in circles with the carafe and it's like, girl, what's really going on? Okay? Yes. Those take place. Because it's a lot of motherfuckers living some motherfucking shit that, you know, yeah, it look good. Let me just go and say that. You know, it might look good and it's like, oh my God, I don't even want to be her. Oh my God, man, she this right here. Man, I want to be her. You don't know what the fuck motherfuckers go through in their normal day-to-day -day motherfucking lives. Less known, the men that they, the, the men that they're with, you don't know how them motherfuckers is fucking up their self esteem, talking down to them, and and they talk down to us be, because for the simple fact that they don't want nobody else to love us. That's crazy, you know what I'm saying? I put me us with it, cause yes, you know I got friends that's in circles. I got girlfriends that's in circles that's doing a whole bunch of motherfucking shit. This ain't their channel. Y'all go watch their motherfucking movies. You know what I'm saying? Y'all go roll with their shit. Yeah, all that, that's all, but I mean, hey, I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to touch that no more. God said, keep going this way. But nonetheless, I tell you right now, the, the, the self-esteem, because the belittling, the controlling aspect, you can't do this, man, oh my God. And it's a common thread. When, 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 when we holding conversations and we talking or whatever, or just got it linked up for lunch or whatever, and I got away from it. You know what I'm saying? I kind of got out of the circle because I wasn't even allowed to do a lot of things. Okay? So I fell out of the circle, in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out of the circle because different, you know, scenarios in my life, I had to break free of a lot of stuff as well as break free from what I love. And that's coming on here talking to y'all about, you know, just this kind of shit. I couldn't do some of this sometime. I was talking too motherfucking much. 
You doing too motherfucking much. You talking about, don't nobody want to hear that shit. Don't nobody want to hear that shit. This some Dr. Phil shit. Don't nobody want to hear that motherfucking shit. Ain't nobody thinking about your motherfucking ass. Oh, them just some the motherfuckers ain't got nothing else to do. And this and this and this and this. Oh, my God. I've heard this shit for so many motherfucking years. Man, I am straight free. Do you understand me? I'm free. I cut that motherfucking steam on a while ago, bitch. I sat in my motherfucking shower and just said, fuck it. Oh, my God. I just, I steamed out everything that was going. I just, man, fuck it. I was like, you know what? I pick me. I choose me. I can't take this no more. I can't do this no more. I'm not going to. I'm not getting ready to take this motherfucking train up to bullshit. I'm not getting ready to watch no motherfucking shit go spiral out of control. I'm not getting ready to do none of that motherfucking shit. But what I am going to do is retreat to my own personal motherfucking space. So then therefore I won't be no trigger for no bullshit. This motherfucker's losing their life at a rapid motherfucking rate right now. Hold on. Let me put it on pause for a minute. But this motherfucker's mo losing their life at a rapid rate because motherfuckers are snapping. Okay? I'm aware of that. I am aware of that like a motherfucker. I'm aware of the conversations that I'm having with my friends that are truly concerned about my safety and welfare. I got y'all. I got y'all. I got y'all. That's, that's why I'm minding my own motherfucking business. Okay? That's why I'm using my motherfucking verbiage. Okay? But, but let, let, let's, not, let's not get it fucked up and twisted. My auntie, though, know every motherfucking thing that she need to know. Let some motherfucking shit jump off off with me. My auntie just going to the motherfucking precinct. Okay, here's, here's some shit you might need to know. Okay, here's some shit right here you might need to know. Okay, yes, I had to confide in somebody because shit was just going way too motherfucking crazy. Throughout the last aspect, after my mom passed, me and my auntie became very motherfucking close. I had no other matriarch. So, my auntie became that. That was a problem with a lot of motherfuckers, too. Don't be telling our business to no motherfucking body. Don't be doing this. Motherfucker, you cannot control my mind, my body, my soul. Well, man, I've had all of my shit on lock. On every motherfucking thing. And it's like, man, but then less known... My rising step out, that Leo step out like, bitch, wait a minute, hold on. So I didn't have physical altercations. Okay? I didn't have some physical altercations because I ain't no punk. You know? So then therefore, it's like, man, I already know I got to take the L like a motherfucker. And so, fuck it. I just, you know, I'm like, you know what? Oh, wow. Search for missing five-year-old leads to Lake. Kachuma near Santa Barbara. Oh my God! Breaking news. This little boy has been missing. And they um um the daddy. Damn, it's breaking news. Just went in on Wendy. But um the father. Once again, abusive motherfucking relationship. But the mama didn't. The, the, him, the the woman and the man. They were separated. Okay, he had visitations of the five year old boy. Okay. He was supposed to have brought the boy back home on Sunday. He didn't bring the boy back home. She called the police and all that kind of stuff. She was telling the police that he wanted to have sex with her and she didn't want to have sex with him. So, um, they put out an APB and it was, um, all over the TV. What is that, um, you know, when they broadcast and it be all on the, what is, what is that? It's named after that young, the, the little girl. Start with a K. Missing persons thing. They've been looking for this baby. And um, so then the other day, they had locked the father up for child endangerment because they couldn't lock him up for like a murder of the child or anything like that. They locked him up for endangerment because the child was in his custody. He had the little boy for that weekend. So now they, it was time for him to bring him back Sunday evening. He didn't bring her back and all this kind of stuff. The, the girl called the police, and, and it, it's just been all over the news ever since. So now they locked him up the other day. And so um, because based on his testimony or whatever, when he was talking to him, when he was, you know, sequestered, the shit wasn't adding up. So they locked him up for child endangerment. So he's already in police custody. And, uh, but yeah, it's breaking news right now. But I am well aware that motherfuckers is just getting twisted out right now. And it's so fucking sad. As I was watching the, uh, 
as I was watching um, the Atlanta Housewives reunion, you know, and it's just abuse right now is going rampant. It's not so much as rampant, it's just been dormant. And a lot of people ain't been really talking about this because in, in the African-American community, a lot of things, a lot of times we as women, we got to be so strong. But one thing about us, though, we're the most disrespected. Hello, somebody. Can somebody say amen? We are the most disrespected when it comes down to women because our men disrespect us. So we not only are disrespecting each other as women, but our men disrespect us too. And then everybody else is looking at us like, you know, we, you know, big titty, big this, big lip, this, this, this. You know, now, you know, motherfuckers making money on it. But at first, though, we was this, 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 corn rolled out the game, this, this, this. Now all our shit is coming back full circle, but and we still ain't getting no credit for our shit. You know, and it's like, so we've been, you know, suppressing a whole lot for so long to whereas a lot of us just fell on our knees and, you know, bowed down to the Lord. And we, a lot of us are in churches. A lot of women, really, really good women, they just, you know, they just, I'm, I'm just going to wait on God to just bring me this, this, and this. And I'm just going to church. I'm just going to church. I'm just going to church. But, you know, and, and you know, we have been told don't go to see psychiatrists and psychologists. Go, don't, you know, we don't, as a society, we don't go to counselors. God damn, we take it to the pastor. You know what I'm saying? But as the years have come to pass now, going to the pastor ain't always the right thing to do now either nowadays. You know, a lot of motherfuckers got hidden agendas and a lot of wolves and sheep's clothing and all kinds of shit's going on nowadays. So, and we as black women are carrying the burdens of a lot of stuff. You understand what I'm saying? So when you meet a woman and she's real agitated and, you know, she's very confrontational and all, you don't know what the fuck she's battling or what the hell she's been going through. What she done witnessed before in her life and what she had to, you know, contend with and deal with for her motherfucking livelihood and whatnot. It's a lot of women out here that's dealing with a lot of bullshit just for a place to lay their motherfucking heads right now. It's a lot of women contending with relationships and marriages and all that kind of stuff because they just don't have no other choice. They've been mommy, wife, baby mama or whatever to these men and been taking care of them and raising their children and having their babies and all this kind of stuff. They've lost all aspects of themselves. They whole day-to-day -day life is what they need to do for these kids and for this man. You know, and that's it. You know, so a lot of us have truly lost our way. I'm not making fun because I've been her. I've been that. Now, that's what I'm saying. I've been in a motherfucking trance for so many fucking years of my life. I lost so much of me. When I look back at it, I lost so much of me. Man, I look back at it, I look at my nursing career. I don't talk about that, but that hurts me. That's why I don't talk about it. You know, I, I lost all on a whole bunch of shit because I chose to be mommy wife. I chose to take care of my husband and my kids. And I put my shit on the back burner because I needed to be what I needed to be for them. So it's like, man, I'm going through this shit. And it's like, I'm like, oh my God, I lost so much of myself. So then I'm like, okay, so now that I've gotten through, excuse me, so many things, and I'm still pushing through those things, and I look at back at where I was, and I look at where I'm at now, oh my God. Like, my kids were talking about some meme that was on Facebook. They was like, if you could take a pill and it'd take you back 25 years, or you could take a pill and it's going to give you such and such amount of money, or you could take a pill and you stay where you at, or... Man, I was like, shit, I don't want to go back there. Fuck that. Fuck that. Because that made me who I am today. That, you know, it took me... It took me 20-something years to get this weight. I don't give a fuck about what nobody telling me about what the fuck I ain't got there yet. Or, shit, you still need to work on that. That ain't right. This ain't right. Hell, that did this, man. Don't tell me nothing about me because you don't know where the fuck I've been. Or how far I had to come to get this right here. So then, therefore, hey, look, check this out. <laughs> I'll take the L. Call me whatever the fuck you want to call me because you don't know my fucking struggle. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people don't know the struggles behind people that are bearing a lot of weight. Them are some powerful motherfuckers. Motherfuckers that got weight problems, man, don't ever let this motherfucker lose that weight. Because I'm telling you right now, and that is the biggest fear. People that have weight problems are some of the strongest, smartest, artistic, I mean, individuals that you would ever meet in your life. They have beautiful facial features and beautiful souls and all that kind of stuff. A lot of them are hard-shelled, 
for the simple fact that they've been ridiculed and talked about by society and so many different people. You know what I'm saying? And they've had to live in the shadows and the background and all that kind of stuff and the motherfucker that's always back there in the room, you know? But I'm telling you, when them motherfuckers break out, this is what you get. Okay? This is what the fuck you get. I am that motherfucker. This is what you get. And everybody ain't gonna like it. But they don't know where the fuck I been. They don't know. Okay, damn, I was 343 pounds. My heaviest weight. Nigga, I got a waist that's 26 inches and something. Don't fuck with me. Okay? When my motherfucking waist was 48, okay, my hips was 62 and all that old type of shit. Don't fuck with me. Okay, shit, call me, whatever. You can't tell my story better than me, and I don't give a fuck about whoever say, oh, well, you still need to do this, and you still need to do that, and you didn't reach that level. I reached the level in my motherfucking mind. You know what I'm saying? In my motherfucking mind, hell yeah, because goddamn it, you don't know how the fuck my knees was feeling. You don't know how the fuck I was sleeping. You don't know how the fuck I was feeling after I was eating. So then therefore, check this out. Your opinion about what I got going on don't even matter. It, it, it has no more authority in my life. I don't give a fuck about your opinion. Period. Period. I don't give a fuck about, okay, well, they got such and such Jaguar that's faster. They got such and such ja Jaguar that do this. Fuck it. I don't have no car payment, motherfucker. I bought mine straight the fuck out. Okay, here we go. What's happening? What? What? Run me my paperwork. I ain't never had no car payment. But check this out, though. Motherfuckers was waiting on my shit to get repo. Made motherfucking videos about it. Motherfuckers talked about my shit. Oh, well, let's just wait and see how long she gonna have that. Don't be calculating my shit. I'm sick of that shit. I done had motherfuckers going through all my title and shit in my car. You know what I'm saying? My registration, motherfuckers. Man, I got so much handprints on my motherfucking paperwork. Where motherfuckers is going through my shit. Going through my trunks and shit. Hell yeah. Oh shit, man. Let me tell you something. For as many motherfuckers that done roll with me, done been in my situation, my personal space or whatever, motherfuckers be straight blowed back. And it's like, you know, and I just back up to it just to see what these motherfuckers gonna do. Because I'm clairvoyant and I can decipher deception. So then therefore, I can pretty much look at your motherfucking ass and tell what the fuck you done. So then therefore, a lot of times, I just don't want the problem. I don't want the confrontation. But if you think that I don't know what the fuck's be going on, nigga, I am sheltered by the shepherd. Understand and know that. Okay? And no weapon formed against me shall ever prosper. Know that shit too. That's been received. That's been on my motherfucking life long motherfucking time ago. Understand all that shit there. Yeah, that's 100 shit today. 